11th International Physics Olympiad Year 1979 IPHO I offer private tutoring for Physics Olympiad preparation. I currently have openings. Message me if interested. My email is fred1996 at hotmail.com or you can use Skype name Edward F. 1996. Problem number two. Brass weights are used to weigh an aluminum made sample on an analytic balance. The weighting is uh, once in dry air and uh, another time in humid air with the water vapor pressure pH equal 2 multiplied by 10 power 3 Pascal. The total atmospheric pressure P equals 10 power 5 Pascal. And the temperature is uh, 20 degrees Celsius. Are the same in both cases. What should the mass of the sample be to be able to tell the difference in the balance reading provided the sensitivity is uh, M0 equals 0 0.1 milligram. Aluminium density row 1 equal 2700 kilogram per cubic meter. Brass density is uh, 8500 kilogram per cubic meter. Solution for problem number 2. A sample and the weight are affected by the Archimedes buoyancy force of either dry or humid air in the first and the second cases, respectively. The difference in the volumes uh, between the aluminum sample and the brass weights can be found from the equation delta V equal mass over rho 1 minus uh, mass over rho 2, which is uh, this expression. In that case, a mass difference can be found from the ideal gas equation of state in dry air and uh, in humid air. In dry air, we have delta MA equal P delta V multiplied by MA over RT, where MA is a molar mass of uh, dry air, and uh, for humid air, we have delta MH equal P delta V mh over rt where m delta mh equal p delta v mh over rt where mh is uh, molar mass of a humid air also mv is uh, molar mass of a regular vapor so in humid air it's a molar mass is equal to this expression due to proportionality Finally, to get the difference uh, greater than M0, which is 0 0.1 milligram, M0 must be greater or equal to delta MA minus delta MH. And after calculations, we have this expression. Or we can rewrite it in form of total mass M must be greater than this expression. And uh, after calculations, we will get 0 0.0439 kilogram or 43.9 gram. That was solution for problem number two.